hold on for a second. Mom, don't you know that I'm in the middle of something? Oh, you just wanted to buy me the shoes. Which shoes? You know the ones that everybody is wearing these days. Okay, thank you. Now, isn't this what most of us do? We want to be like others and do what they do when we could have just been ourselves. This is exactly what conformity is. To me, conformity means that we follow others and we let society be in charge of who we are. There are so many reasons why people conform. Whether it's because we're just afraid to show who we truly are, or because we just want to fit in, sometimes we just conform because we're too lazy to find our own way to get somewhere. But truth is, I think that conformity isn't entirely negative when you're simply doing something that all the others are doing because it's the most effective way to do it. However, too much laziness, though, is not going to get us anywhere. And this is why we have to allow ourselves to be creative because we all have our own ways to shine through. For those who conform because they feel like they want to fit in to their community, I want to tell you that this is something I've done before. When I was younger, I never really had much friends. And I viewed people's friendships almost enviously. I tried so hard fitting in, but they just wouldn't want to sit with me. I remember once I convinced my parents to buy me this phone in middle school. Just about everybody else had that phone. And I thought it would be a way to be like them and actually fit in. But, you know, it was sort of the feeling that if I haven't done that, I would have always been lonely. But guess what? I still was. Now, the problem with those of us who conform and they just want to fit in is that we are willing to do anything just to be accepted. And not realizing that our true selves and our true characters are more than enough to take us anywhere we want to get in life. Now, when I think about it, why me when everybody else had the same phone? I mean, I hadn't yet realized that having the same phone just clearly made us all the same. There wasn't, new, there wasn't anything new about me to notice. To me, it was like I was trying to force myself to be like them and just fit in with them. But to them, it was like they were trying to find something that stands out so they could actually see it. Being yourself is much easier. You don't have to pretend to be like anyone else. You don't have to do what they do in order to please them. You're not even required to please anybody but yourself. By being your own self, you're stronger, therefore more confident. And this is why we all have to be ourselves, because you are you for what is inside of you. Your opinion is the only thing that could tell somebody who you really are deep inside. And that's why we all have to just be ourselves. Don't be someone else's echo, because in the end, only the true voices are heard. And being someone's echo never really helped anyway. As a kid, the teacher used to ask us questions in class. And we'd all answer. But I remember I used to repeat what the majority said. Although I always had a different answer. I thought that my different answer would just be the wrong one. I don't know why, but I just had that feeling. So the teacher one day looked at us and she was like, you're all wrong. When she wrote the correct answer down and I looked back in my notebook to check it, I was right. I just never got the grade for it or anything, really, because I didn't stand up and own to what I thought was right. And since then, I've realized the importance of being myself, and I've started saying my own answers, and things started to seem much better for me. It's those little things that really made me who I am right now. And if you're afraid, I'm here to tell you that it's not the shoes you wear, or the way your hair looks, or the way your body looks, 
or the clothes that you put on that matter. You can simply be you and not have anyone else affect you. I want you all to think, are you being who you truly are or who society wants you to be? If the answer is anything else but who you truly are, then you need to do things a little bit differently from now on. This week, I want you all to completely be yourselves. You say what you want to say, you wear what you think is comfortable, you do what you want to do, and most importantly, you don't let anyone else decide for you who to be. Trust me, you'll want to forever live that way. Thank you.